They promised to make you smarter than your mechanic, but all they really did was give you a code and a headache. Across Europe, drivers are learning the hard way that those so-called smart tools often create more problems than they solve. Is the OBD2 scanner revolution actually a scam hiding behind fancy apps and subscriptions? Let's find the truth. At first, the idea sounded revolutionary. Drivers across Europe could now understand what was happening under the hood without ever stepping into a mechanic's garage. It wasn't just for car nerds anymore. From Paris to Prague, average people were buying small plug-in tools and downloading apps that promised to reveal the secrets of their vehicles. For many, it felt like gaining x-ray vision. It all started with the EOBD, Europe's answer to America's OBD2. When it rolled out in 2001 for petrol cars and 2004 for diesels, most people didn't even notice. But behind the scenes, this system was quietly checking your engine, your emissions, and your fuel systems, making sure your car wasn't silently poisoning the air. Europe didn't build this system for fun. It it was all about fighting pollution and tightening regulations. If a part failed and your emissions spiked, EOBD would catch it and tell you, usually by lighting up that dreaded engine warning light on your dashboard. Then came the real shift. A new generation of small, smart devices began hitting the market. These weren't made by car manufacturers, but by tech companies. They promised to talk to your car in a language only mechanics used to know. Suddenly, for $40 to $80, anyone could buy a scanner, plug it in near the steering wheel, and check real-time data, RPMs, fuel pressure, engine load. Some even promised coding features, unlocking hidden functions, changing dashboard displays, tweaking how your car behaved. That's when brands like OBD11 and Carly started popping up in YouTube videos, car forums, and TikTok. Influencers showed themselves adjusting car settings with just a few taps on their phone. Drivers were hooked. Who wouldn't want to diagnose their own car and maybe save hundreds in garage fees? OBD11 was built in Lithuania and quickly found its audience among drivers who wanted more than just fault codes. This wasn't just another reader. It connected with your phone over Bluetooth and gave you access to deep vehicle coding, especially for popular European brands like Volkswagen, BMW, and Fiat. OBD11 didn't just speak the language of your car, it let the driver write their own sentences. You could turn off annoying alerts, unlock hidden features, or tweak comfort settings, all with a tap on your phone. And that's not even the clever part. Around 2020, Volkswagen added a security lock called SFD to their cars. This made it almost impossible for average users to modify anything under the hood. But OBD11 cracked the code. They introduced a feature that bypassed that lock safely, something most other scanners still can't do. For anyone with a modern VW or Audi, that one feature alone turned OBD11 into a must-have tool. But there's a catch. While the device itself is priced at 60 euros, many of its best features are hidden behind pay plans. The free version does basic diagnostics but for full access, especially if you want to change settings on a VW, you'll need to pay for the Pro or Ultimate plans. Still, for enthusiasts who want to take control of their car's software, it's a price many are willing to pay. There is, however, something you can do when it's not costing you a penny. That's subscribing to our channel and smashing that notification bell so we can keep you in the loop with the latest car news. Now, let's pick up where we left off. Carly, developed in Germany, takes a very different approach. It's built for people who don't care about coding or unlocking secrets. Carly wants to be your everyday helper, the thing you plug in when something feels off in your car, or when you're thinking about buying a used one and want to avoid getting ripped off. While OBD11 leans toward gearheads, Carly is more for everyday drivers. It doesn't just check fault codes, it goes one step further. One of its key features is detecting odometer fraud, a huge issue in the European used car market. It compares data from multiple control units inside the car to spot any mileage tampering. For someone buying a second-hand BMW or Mercedes, that tool alone can save thousands. Carly also offers live data tracking, battery health checks, and a smart mechanic tool that explains your issues in plain language. You don't have to Google strange codes or wonder if your engine's about to explode. Carly tells you what's wrong and even suggests what to do next. It's like having a friendly car technician on your phone. But again, there's a trade-off. The scanner costs around 75 euros, but most of the helpful features sit behind a subscription paywall. The premium package for just one car brand starts at around 66 euros, and many users complain that they weren't fully informed about this before buying the device. What starts as a small investment could quickly grow into a regular expense, especially if you own more than one vehicle or change cars often. 
Both tools are part of a growing trend in Europe, turning your car into something you control, not just drive. For years, diagnostics and coding were locked behind dealership walls. Now, these tools are putting that power into the hands of everyday drivers. But choosing the right one depends on what kind of driver you are. If you want to dive deep into the guts of a Volkswagen or Audi and customize the driving experience, OBD11 is built for that. It's a tool for people who enjoy tweaking, testing, and unlocking. If you just want peace of mind, clear diagnostics, and a smarter way to check a used car before buying, Carly might make more sense. Most people think plugging in an OBD2 scanner will magically fix their car. You see it all over the internet. Just buy one of these pocket-sized devices, scan your vehicle, and boom, you are your own mechanic. But that's not the full story. Especially in Europe, where cars are packed with complex tech and consumer expectations are sky high, the reality is a lot messier. Your car jerks, the engine stutters, you scan it, and it spits out a code. P0301, cylinder 1 misfire. That's when the cracks begin to show. Because the scanner won't tell you what's causing the misfire. It could be the spark plug, or the ignition coil, maybe even the fuel injector, or worse, something deep in the ECU. You're back in the dark, guessing. And if you guess wrong, you'll spend more on parts than a mechanic would have charged in the first place. That's the part no one tells you. These tools aren't useless, but they're not magic either. They're best when used as the first step, not the whole journey. They give you a clue, but not the whole picture. And that's exactly what most drivers miss when they rely on them blindly. But here's where things get even more controversial. Subscriptions. In Europe, People expect to buy a product and own it. That's just how it's been. But now, companies are selling the device for a one-time fee, then locking most of its features behind a paywall. Carly is the biggest offender. You buy the scanner thinking you've paid for everything, but then you realize basic stuff is free, sure, but the real meat? That's hidden behind a monthly or yearly subscription. Many drivers feel tricked. OBD11 does things a little differently. They offer a free plan that works okay for basic stuff. But if you drive a Volkswagen, Audi, or Skoda and want advanced features, yep, you're paying too. Still, because they're more upfront about it, people don't feel as angry. The whole debate taps into something bigger, how companies are quietly shifting from selling products to selling access. It's not just car tools, it's everything from phones to washing machines. But in Europe, that's dangerous territory. EU law doesn't mess around when it comes to misleading ads or shady pricing. The 2009-29-EC directive makes it clear, if a company hides the truth or confuses buyers, it's in legal trouble. So where does that leave you? The average driver scrolling YouTube trying to avoid a 200 euro mechanic bill, somewhere in the middle. These tools can help, they really can, but only if you know what they are and what they're not. They won't fix your car, they won't replace real expertise, but they can give you a head start, a little bit of knowledge, and maybe, just maybe, enough confidence to push back when someone at the garage tells you the problem is complicated. In 2025, the European market for these scanners is booming. It's not niche anymore. It's worth over 1.4 billion euros and growing fast. By 2033, it's expected to nearly double. Germany, unsurprisingly, is leading the charge. It's the heart of Europe's car industry, and nearly one in five scanners sold in Europe ends up there. France, the UK, and Italy follow closely behind. These numbers mirror not just scanner sales, but the passion these countries have for their cars. This growth isn't just about fancy gadgets or tech trends. It's rooted in real change. European cars are becoming more advanced, and the rules around emissions and safety are getting tighter. Manufacturers are building cars with more electronics, and drivers are feeling the pressure to keep up. So scanners aren't just tools anymore, they're a necessity for staying ahead. But how useful are these devices really? That depends on who you ask. Some mechanics, like a veteran technician in Frankfurt, warn that people can do more harm than good if they trust these tools too much. He's seen car owners misdiagnose problems and create bigger issues because they thought a code meant something it didn't. These scanners give you a piece of the puzzle, but not the whole picture. Others, though, see a real upside. In a Paris garage, one mechanic explained how customers who use scanners often come in better prepared. They've already seen the error codes and have a basic understanding of the issue. That means conversations are smoother, decisions are easier, and there's more trust on both sides. Even if the scanner doesn't fix the problem itself, it starts the conversation. That's the key point. EOBD scanners aren't miracle tools. They won't replace real mechanics or high-end diagnostic machines, but they do change the dynamic. They give regular people more insight and more control. In a world where cars are getting smarter and more complicated, that is a powerful shift.